Hello everyone, welcome back. We're here for another video and I'm just going to demonstrate a very nice example for you guys. I have a full jug of water. Now we can consider this, uh, this right here, this jug of water is going to be your soul. This is your energy right here. This is the energy that you have, okay? Right? But just pretend this doesn't like run out. This I would have used a hose but I'm not trying to make a mess everywhere. Now these are all different individuals. This person, their cup is full. Their cup is full. They're filled with love and joy. This person, they're not fully filled up with love and joy. You see it? <laughs> I had to cover your face so it focuses on the thing. Sorry. So this person, they're not fully filled with love. They, this, you consider this, this person here, this person right here, <laughs> this person right here, you would consider to be fully joyous and happy. Look, that autofocus is, 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 is pissing me off. This person you'd consider, they'd be fully filled with love and joy and happy. They're so satisfied that they are about to overflow. Oh, you can see my face in the cup. Cool. This next person, they're only halfway filled. So they're not fully, they're not fully able to, they're not, they still need to be filled up first before they can overflow with love and joy and peace and you happiness. See, the real question is, is that half empty or half full? It doesn't matter if it's half empty or half full. You need to fill it up with this, which is, this is the, this is the energy that comes from your soul, from, from within, right? This person here, you'd, you'd consider them to be completely dissatisfied, unhappy, not contempt, not grateful, um, depressed, like they are just completely out of love, completely out of love. Now, if this person here pours some water into this person, now they're empty. See, now they're empty and they're still, they, they, got more, they got more water now. They got more love and joy. By This is what you would consider a sacrifice. This person sacrifices some of their water in order to fill up somebody else. So now this person is empty and this person is filled. But this does not last because look, we're still not gaining any more water. Now if this person wants to help them out, someone else loses. So this is what you would consider sacrifices. We are no longer going to be doing any type of sacrifices for anyone. Okay? That's, that's what you consider a sacrifice. So we're not going to be sacrificing anymore. This is you. These are other people. When you are completely filled with water and love and joy and happiness and peace and contentness, you are actually able to fill everybody up. You are able to give out love and, and peace and, and to the point where they're just overflowing. They're just completely overflowing with water. Completely. That's what you can do to someone else and for yourself. Don't worry about it, bro. We'll clean up later. They'll be overflowing to the point where everyone will be overflowing and everyone will, cup will be filled. This, in this example, it runs out. But it actually does not. This is like a hose. This is rain. This is the fountain. Like, this is a fountain that's within you. It does not run out at all. The point here is... When you fill yourselves up with love and joy and you make yourself happy first, that is the only time you're actually able to fill up anyone else's cup, anyone else's cup with love and peace and happiness. So focus on letting that fountain pour out of you and into you first. Fill yourself up first because you cannot actually give to anyone else unless... The point is here, when you fill yourself up first, that is the only time you're actually able to fill up anyone else. By pouring your cup into others, doing things that you don't want to do for somebody else, you're giving away some of your energy and you are going to be left dissatisfied and they're going to be satisfied. But that's not the real, that's not the right way to do it because you're no longer gaining anything. It's just the transfer. It's like just shifting some water to another cup, some love to another person. They're going to be happy and you're going to be dissatisfied. No, no, no. Fill yourself up. Only do what makes you satisfied. Because by doing so, you're filling your own cup. Once you fill up your own cup, whatever is extra, you're able to give it out and, and show love to other people. But you have to make sure your own cup is filled first. Alright everyone, 